Hello, Expand the Craft fans. Wesley here, I'm gonna show you something that's not an Expand the Craft. Well, I will show you. There's Expand the Craft over there, and there's Expand the Craft over there. Hey, I'm testing out my new selfie stick. After what, 14 years, I think I need a selfie stick to shoot my videos. Okay, folks, this is what's going on with Expand the Craft. I am building something. This is what used to be a Seawind 24 catamaran sailboat. Hey, catamaran sailboat guys, you see when guys don't hate on me for making this motorboat. It was a dead boat. It couldn't. It was going to take more money to bring it back to be a sailboat than it would have. Then I just go out and buy a new C124, well, new one that was working. So it was a dead boat, and not to mention it was a dead man's boat. So there was that. All right. So here's what is going to be um, is a decking. Uh, if you see some of my videos, uh, I've actually shown it with the decking on. The decking is going to be a little over 10 feet wide, actually. It's going to have railings throughout the whole thing. Coast Guard regulation height railings and sturdy, the whole nine yards. Uh, there is going to be a net where I'm standing here between the hulls. So that net is going to be a place to lay out when the boat is stopped. Everybody stays inside the cage when their boat is going. And because this is basically a floating water world, on the tip of each bow, so that's the plan, at least one, a springboard, a real live springboard. So we can do like the Olympics, the, uh, the, the synchronized diving. Hey, why not? That's why. Uh, so today I have been working, well, today, several days. It is um, June something in Florida. And I always said, I've had this boat for like five years almost, that if when I go to build this boat, I am not going to start it at the beginning of summer. Summer, See, words don't come out mouth good. That's how dehydrated I am. And so today, I lifted the boat the other day and set it up so that I could uh, later on put it down on the, um, the trailer. And so that's what I've done today. And the last three days or so is I've built a cribbing under here so that the boat will come up and these are going to be chopped off so it'll come up on like rails like a um, railroad track and it'll be nearly impossible to uh, get off the track. Let me go to the back and show you that. I am literally sweating bullets here. I had to wipe off because I can't use the fans to do this video. Okay, right here, replacing the rudders is going to be twin, brand new Honda 15 horsepower long shaft motors, which will push this boat fine. This is not made to be planer. It's not a planing hull boat. If I get 15 miles an hour, I would be really surprised. But this boat, as a sailboat, will do eight or nine knots with a 7.5. I know because I've had five Sea Wind 24 sailboats. Now, wait issue the the decking and you'll see that all of this decking right here that's aluminum decking it's bleacher planking it is two pounds per linear foot each deck is 18 feet long so this deck is 18 feet long 11 and a half inches wide uh, together there'll be nine of these so you do the math nine 18 footers at two pounds per foot. The funny thing is, is all the weight that I'm adding with the decking is basically the weight of all the sailing gear. The, uh, the mast and the boom and the sails and the running rigging is many hundreds of pounds, which is about the same weight as this decking, which you would normally on this boat have decking and or some of them have a, a center console, which is not lightweight. Um, and so basically the weight that I'm taking off, like the rudders and the rudder boxes, also weight gone. I will be adding weight with the motors. Each motor is 130 pounds. So it is a little heavier maybe than it would be if it was an actual sailboat. Um, let's see, the uh, overall beam on this boat is 16 feet, which you see when guys know. In each one of these hulls, Normally there is a berth you could sleep down in it, but I'm not gonna do that. I have all this decking. If I wanna sleep, I'll just put a tent on board or two tents. It's gonna have 
bimini tops all the way to the front and the back. Was gonna do a hard cabin. I ruled against that. Uh, expediency and money. The other thing is I was gonna do a hull in the middle. I did the calculations. I don't need that extra flotation. Um, especially if I keep the weight down. No 60 horse motor, two, two uh, 15s is just fine. Uh, and instead of having any kind of berth in there, it's just gonna be storage. And I'll have a men's room, that's a urinal stand up in that one. And this one will have a full on flushing working marine toilet. All Coast Guard reg, everything is going to be uh, just right. I am going to tow this boat at 16 feet wide on the road. Yes, not very far. Uh, We're going to make the announcement when we get the permit to uh, get it going. I'm not gonna have the permit till I get it finished. I'm gonna wait and we're gonna have like a parade. Hopefully I can do it in the middle of the day. I'd do it midday, the busiest time, just to get the, uh, the audience there. And so this is going to be, I'm gonna call it Water World Adventures because uh, there, there will be sliding boards like um, the blow up fun um, platforms so that kids can climb up over here slide off and then they'll be right here is a swim platform the swim platform between the two motors is going to let down and act as a dinghy davit and of course expand the craft will be the dinghy and we'll also have expand the craft on board for my guests to use you can come out and book an event like a birthday party or just a, a tour going up and down the rivers Panacea, Florida, look it up. There are so many places. I'm not even gonna to begin to tell you about it now. Wait till I have the boat completed and uh, start putting an itinerary. If you have questions about this build, let me know in the comments. If you have, you know, you wanna berate me for taking a beautiful sailboat and making a boat, uh, motorboat out of it, berate me in the comments because all that's going to do is drive my algorithms up and help me sell more expand craft boats. Ha ha, thanks a lot. Uh, so all you haters, hate on and just make a comment as you go. So that's it. Wait for the updates. This thing is going to be one hell of a fun project. And I can't wait to see what happens next. Expandacraft.com.